thing is glitchy as fuck today, but we'll see what happens. So, public service announcement. IRS is pretty much going after everyone with crypto. They sent me some letter trying to tell me that I underpaid my taxes, but I'm fairly certain I didn't underpay my taxes. I'm pretty sure I paid more than I was supposed to anyways. I'm pretty sure that what they're doing is they're just making up things and hoping that you don't double check their shit. Uh, so I, I, they sent me a letter and I was like, I declined these things and I want to like discuss it more. Uh, and basically what it is is like, at first, I thought maybe I did owe them, because when I did my taxes, I thought I was going to owe like $10,000, but I only owned, ended up paying like $2,000, and what it was, it's on the tax sheet, it says, only put down crypto that you sold. I haven't sold crypto. I transferred crypto off the exchange. So I think that the IRS is trying to count taking crypto off the exchange as selling the crypto, which is not true and can be proven. On top of that, I was on unemployment for like three weeks in 2020, the very first beginning of it. Um, I, I have all this shit saved. I checked the box that says you pay your taxes now when you get your unemployment, not when you get it. Because unemployment max is like 363 or some shit like that, but my checks would be like 300 even because they were taking out the taxes from the unemployment as they were giving it to me. So that's all verifiably proven. And also, I'm pretty certain that any crypto that I did sell on the exchanges was sold at a loss because let's say all I was doing was swapping for Theta. So if I was to buy Ethereum, so that way I could swap it for Theta, I would put money in, wait for the money to buy the Ethereum right away, wait for the um, shit to move, and then I would swap that Ethereum off, and then well, I would take that Ethereum off the exchange and then swap it allegedly if they can prove it, all that bullshit, which they can't. All they can track is what was on the exchange. So they're saying that the money I took off the exchange was sold. That is not true. It was staked. And on top of that, the laws say that you, that if you're staking, they passed that law that says if you're staking your crypto, you don't have to pay taxes on it until you sell it and all that bullshit. So this is bullshit. Um, on top of that, I think that the the um, the people might be pissed off enough at all of the bullshit that I think if I, I'm, I might even just send them a bill and be like, whatever you think I owe you, that's how much I charge you for making me do all this sort of recording of my Fourth Amendment rights or Fifth Amendment, whatever the one it is, but eminent domain, where they have to, where they have to pay you for work that you do. Literally. And, and, and if they actually prove that I owe that, if they can prove that beyond a shadow of a doubt that I owe that money, I'll just drag my feet and do like minimum payments and all that bullshit until so market corrects. It's bullshit. It's what it is, is gas is $7 a gallon because these assholes are ruining everything and they want more money. And they can go fuck themselves. That's what it comes down to. Anyways, um, I didn't get the bottom of the dip, but I got it like the middle of the dip. I wish I would have gotten Bitcoin at 17, not 19, but it was low 19, and now it's 19.5, and my Ethereum, I got it low not So I basically made like 100 bucks right now. Down up, down up. Maybe more like 10 bucks, I don't know. But we're up. I wanted to go look up a little bit more. The thing is, um, I, the T fuel was at like, T fuel was at like five something, five and a half cents, almost six cents when I swapped it for, uh, uh, Bitcoin. And now it's going back down. It's at like four, eight cents. Right? Point four, eight cents. So I'm like, I might just swap that shit back right now and just say, all right, we'll get an extra, get an extra couple thousand T fuel. That's really what it is. So the thing about the taxes, I mean, like, it's neither here nor there. This is the thing. Pay your taxes, 100%. But, like, when I was doing my taxes, I was putting in my uh, crypto shit. And it was like, like, a big error box came up and it wouldn't let me, like, do it. And I took a picture of it and everything. And it was like, only put in taxes that you have sold. I was like, oh, okay, well, I haven't sold anything. I've have all my theta still. I literally have all my theta. I haven't sold a single thing. I, I swapped some T fuel for LPs. That's it. I've uh, so I I I've, I have not even unstaked my theta since 2020, September 2020, when I started buying theta in the first place. It's like the amount of money, like cor corrected for uh. Like what the like basically all that data that is, they're saying I didn't report thirty eight thousand dollars in income, but 
at around that, all the data that I have now, back then, would be worth around $30,000. So, what I did was, I took money off the exchange. They can't prove what I did with it afterwards. Then, I staked that, and they're butthurt that I'm not counting, pulling money off the exchange as income, because it's not. I didn't do anything, I didn't spend it when I spent when I spend that crypto, I intend to pay my taxes on it. I, that's why I waited over a year and a day. And I still haven't sold any of it. So I'm being realized capital gains. These assholes are just hoping you're stupid and say, oh, oops, you caught me and pay it. If I have to pay 10K, you have to prove to me that I, that I, I owe you 10K. Even after I paid you 10K, I paid you 2K. And you want, you want 5K, you, you, want, you want 5X more. Eat shit. That's what it comes down to. Stupid bullshit. I might even like open up like a, uh, if, if they prove that I owe the money, I'll, I'll probably open up like an escrow, pay it into the escrow and then sue them for the money back. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, NFTs, I'm not going to be buying NFTs as much right now. Uh, sorry to burst everyone's bubble and whatnot. <clears throat> I saw that someone else finally bought one of Jade's uh, Zodiac things. Awesome. Uh, look, I got, I got, that's 88 T fuel. I was, wasn't was going to buy any more NFTs because I, I kind of feel like I'm raising the NFT floor on NFTs on Theta Drop. And I just don't have the T fuel for that right now. I'm a little mad I could have staked some T fuel instead of buying these NFTs, but Jades were seven hundred instead of two thousand, so I bought them. I really shouldn't have because and Carnegie is only one, so I bought it. But what it is is the reason why I think T fuel was going up but everything else was going down is because <coughs> everyone was talking about built or billet bullet the file sharing thing on TNT20. And I've been swapping every night. I've been swapping my T fuel for billet bullet. And um, I used to be getting like three T three bullet for every one T fuel. Now you're getting like 0.9 T fuel for one bullet. So people have been buying T fuel to get bullets. That's why it's been going up. It's probably going down now because they stopped doing that. But anyway, so I should not have, I had like 10,000 bullet, which I don't have that much now because I was buying these NFTs. So I'm not buying any more NFTs until I get my bullet back up and I max out my Guardian node. It's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. I just like, I'm glad I have JadeBot agent number one and ToroBot number one and all that bullshit. And I'm glad I could sell out the uh, 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 Cronegelo thing and whatnot, but it's not my responsibility to buy your guys' NFTs. I feel really bad for Mario Shelk because he put out four awesome NFTs that I would like to buy. I just don't really... I would rather put that T fuel into my guardian, into my edge node right now, which is what it is. But yeah, a hundred percent. Like if, if I legitimately owe the taxes, I'll pay the taxes. I'm not worried about that. But when I went to pay the taxes, they told me not to pay the taxes because I had not sold that crypto yet. So I know that I did sell some crypto in 2020. The majority of that crypto, I ended up selling at a loss. Like again, everyone was like, OXT, OXT. Uh, Orchid, I sold the majority of my Orchid at a loss to buy Theta, all right? I sold the majority of my Ethereum at a loss to, but there was a couple of times when I did make some spikes. Like that one time when I tried to sell 10 Ethereum for Theta, but um, the I wanted to sell it because uh, it started to go down and then it took a day and a half or it took 23 hours to go through and then it ended up going up 10%. That was just luck. Most of the time, and I can prove all the transactions. You can see where most of them, I was just like, most of the time I was selling crypto at a loss because I didn't want it to dip down too far so I could buy Theta. That's what it was. I was like, well, if it dips, if it dips down farther, I won't be able to buy any Theta. So I'll just sell it now at a loss and then I'll buy it back later and then buy the Theta with it. So if you do it that way and like carry the two and all that bullshit, I actually shouldn't have even paid any money. And they should owe me that $2,000 back. So if they want to do all that bullshit, we can do all that bullshit. We can carry the two and all that bullshit. That's why I said check the box. No, I, I disagree with this and um, go with that. Anyways, again, 10 G's isn't that much money. If you got to pay it, you got to pay it. But 
if I would have, if I had to have paid it, why did you assholes tell me I didn't have to pay it? That's the thing. What it is is they're broke as shit right now, and they're trying to find a recharge who don't know that they don't have to owe this money. It's just like when uh, what was it? One time, um, um, I had a I had a cop at a traffic stop. She like took the phone out of my hand, and um, I was like illegal, all that bullshit. And I'm pretty sure because a body camera thing, she didn't even show up to the court because like you're not allowed to do that. That's illegal. Anyways, that's how it is. All right, guys. Peace out.